Hi, let's talk about the UX process, but we're not gonna go that classic, boring UX process route. No, let's try something completely different. Recently, I asked a simple question here and on Twitter. Which one of these doesn't fit the rest? Raspberry, blueberry, tomato or brick? Now, the answer seems obvious, right? Most people simply answered brick because it clearly stands out. But is going for the obvious the best approach? Sure, making quick assumptions is necessary to even get anywhere while designing. But in reality, if we jump to those automatic conclusions, there is both place for error and not enough place for innovation. But that's only half of the story. Before we get to the other half, here's one way of looking at it, probably the second most obvious. Blueberry is the only item on that list that isn't red. But not as many people picked that option. Most chose brick when presented with a list of four items. Now let's look at it from this angle. What if we showed those items visually instead? The mere fact of having colors and shapes before you can steer your attention away from brick and towards the blueberry. And that's only one of nearly infinite number of answers. The other half is even more essential to good design. Let's say we designed our awesome, super easy to use app. We thought of everything and used all the best practices in the world to make it easy and accessible. Well, guess what? People are different. The way they understand your product is different and very personal. It can also be very abstract. So assuming it's always brick for everybody will likely lead to missing out on a lot of potential users. Doing those mental gymnastics is a good way to stay focused in the variety or chaos of both people and problems to solve. So here's a couple of my favorite comments showing the diversity of thought. Let's start with some alphabetic associations. Brick, but because it's the only word on the list without three syllables. Tomato is the only word without an R in it. Tomato is also the only word without a B. Brick is the only one with one vowel. Now let's look at the purpose. Brick is the only thing in this list that's designed to fit. Longevity. A brick is permanent while others will decay. And some other qualities. Brick doesn't have a reflective surface. Raspberry. Each of the other options can be considered a single entity while raspberry is a conglomerate of itself. A brick is the only one that's not a berry, a family of berries. So as you can see, with just a couple of answers we got so many different approaches to this problem. Keep that in mind throughout your design process. Always approach all of your design problems with an open mind. Brick is not the only way, and even when it is, it can be for very unobvious reasons. Okay, the last idea that came to my mind was what if I picked a different set? Let's assume that I pick raspberry, blackberry, apple and brick. That way brick would be the one standing out because it's not a tech company, right? Boom, we're done. So just a small change, we're still in the fruit category, but at the same time it changes everything. A small change like that could add a whole set of options to this one predetermined set that we already had. And I'm gonna leave you at that. Stay curious, explore. Cheers. Uh, uh,